In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to understand and use the tDNA flank sequence data in Terra to find and order insertions in your gene of interest. Now, in an effort to generate knockouts for all Arabidopsis genes, different groups have generated tDNA insertion libraries, many of which have been made available through the ABRC and NASC stock centers. On average, each of the sequence index insertion lines will have more than one insertion, an important thing to remember. Recently, many of these insertion lines have been rescreened using next generation sequencing methods. This has resulted in the identification of additional inserts as well as remapping of some previously identified insertions to different parts of the genome due to the improved sequence quality. These new FSTs contain the word seek in their name. Flank sequences from the Salk, Whisk, or other collections are captured in tear as insertion polymorphisms. The older Sanger flank sequences have been mapped to the genome assembly and can be found by searching within specific genes or for bra by browsing the genome. For example, if you're using Terra's GBrowse, you can find an insertion that looks like it's in an interesting position and click on the name to view the polymorphism detail page. There's a lot of information here, flanking sequence data, curated information about the mutation if it's been described in the literature, and a list of germplasms containing the allele. In this example, there's two stocks available that contain this insertion. The first line has been selected for purification at one particular insertion and is known to be homozygous for that allele. You'll notice the second line contains many more polymorphisms, including those in identified via the NGS methods. Now, assuming you're interested in just this specific allele, you can order it directly from this page. You just need to be registered at TEAR and affiliated with the lab to place your order. A more comprehensive mapping of tDNA insertions, including the newer tDNA Seq FSTs, can be found using the Salk tDNA Express tool. Once you find an insertion of interest, you can click on the name and view the details, including the coordinates, flank sequence, and a brief annotation. If you then want to find a stock that contains this insertion, you'll need to first click on the link to the Tear Polymorphism search. From this result page, click on the polymorphism name to view the relevant polymorphism detail page in TEAR. The annotation section contains important information about the location of the insertion. In the case where the lines have not yet been linked to the TEAR locus, this is the only place you'll find this information. Be aware, though, that TEAR will be updating and integrating all the new mapping data along with the Aeroport 11 genome release. Now scroll to the germplasm section to find the stocks that contain this insertion. In this case, there's a single stock available. If you click on the link to the germplasm, you'll see a list of all the polymorphisms or flank sequence tags found in this line, as well as links to order the stocks. In this line, there are a total of nine flank sequences associated. Follow the links to the individual allele pages to find the information about their locations. They will likely be in different genes. For example, the tDNA seq with a dot .5 allocation is inserted to, into a gene on chromosome 3, whereas the tDNA seq dot .0 is in a gene on chromosome 5. So there are multiple inserts in multiple genes in the strain. You may also notice that there is a purification progeny line shown on the germplasm page. So which line should you order? It all depends on which insertion you're trying to look at. Now, if you recall, the parental line had multiple insertions into multiple locations. The purification lines, those with the C suffix, have been selected to be homozygous for only one of these insertions. In this case, it's the one on the, in the gene on chromosome 5. The state of the other insertions in these lines is unknown. They could be heterozygous for one, heterozygous for another, or not contain any other insertions. So unless it's explicitly shown that the purification was selecting for your insertion of interest, for the tDNA seq lines, you should go ahead and order the segregating line and not the purified homozygote. Thanks for checking in with us. If you have any questions about ordering or seeds, please contact the ABRC at abrc.osu.edu. Any other questions, contact us at curator at arabidopsis.org.